Hello traders and welcome to this week's Market Outlook from Exness. I'm Michael Stark, Financial Content Leader, and here I'm going to be giving an idea for trading Platinum over the next few days. But before that, let's look back at the performance of last week's idea. Last week, the idea was a potential sell for the euro against the pound sterling, and it had a potential target around 83 pence. The idea was fully accurate, with the price having moved down and reaching an intraday low slightly below 83p on Friday the 18th of October. Now for this week, the idea is a potential buy for Platinum. We can see that in the near term, the price is moving in an uptrend. It's recently tested the area of around $1,020. It's possible it might continue upward to reach a target around 1060 or possibly higher as a stretch target. However, it should be noted that the area around 1020 which the price is currently testing, seems to be an important resistance. One of the main narratives driving this potential move upward by Platinum is expectations that supply is going to be lower into the end of the year. Some of the world's major producers, notably the largest producer, South Africa, is expected to produce less refined platinum to the end of 2024. It's also very important to note the current large spread in the price between gold and platinum. The spread between the two prices is now at its highest for 107 years. Looking at the economic calendar, the critical release this week is US durable goods. This in itself isn't a very important release, but since it's the only major data, it's something that traders might be focusing on. Currently, it's expected that that might be worse with a contraction of around 0.9%. In summary, the idea for a trade this week is potential buy for platinum with a possible target around $1,060. The key narratives that are driving the potential move upward by platinum are expected lower supply and the significant spread between platinum and gold. And the important data to watch out for this week is American Durable Goods on Friday. Please remember that it's just an idea for a trade. It's not a signal. It's not a guarantee of success. Always do your own research and manage risk.